Hello everybody, welcome back to the Pizza Benders Academy playthrough of Quest for Glory 2 as a thief. I am Gonf, I'm joined by my colleagues. Penny and Eva. Zombo. And we've done a bunch of training and fast forwarded a bit here. So to... It's now day 11. Things are going to start happening today. A little bit. And I have done some serious training as you can see. I've maxed out just about everything. My honor went higher than I would like it to, but that's alright because I'm going to steal a bunch of stuff. And stealing stuff is the magic ward against becoming a paladin accidentally. And luck isn't maximum, but luck just sort of happens yeah. appropriately enough. But other than that, I, I am good to go for the rest of the game. If I fail and die at things, it will be because I am bad, not because my character is. So we're going to, you'll notice I'm not sneaking everywhere because I have maximum stealth and therefore don't need to train it. I'm going to head out and say hi to Shameen. Lord has personally asked that he be present tonight, but he wishes to speak with you about Drew's reading. Mm, that's interesting. Who would Omar want with someone like you? Maybe he wants to make a poem about me. Needs some of the details. It is no good that you wish to journey towards you. If you do so, please try to contact my cousin Shara. Hello? It is a pleasure to see you, great hero. Thanks you for the are, breakfast. You are, of course, most welcome, my hero. Ask me what you will, hero. I shall do my best to impart whatever knowledge I am able. Let's no, oh, there's quite a few things here. It's caravan. It is very far and very dangerous. It can only be made by caravan. If, if you do journey there. Please look for my cousin Sharaf. Sharaf. The name means honor. He is very brave. It is said here that he refused to leave Rishi so that he could work to bring freedom to his homeland again. I'll skip a rumor. That's really informative. And I'll skip the dance too and ask about the poet Omar. He is a wonderful poet and he knows many things. We are lucky that he comes here. Okay, that's not actually helpful. All right. Bye. Farewell, hero of the other. You think, I don't think you're ever going to get cold, hero of Spielberg, you know, this game. Everyone forgets all about Spielberg. Well, yeah. I think even in the later games, someone else is. Poor Tomar with thrill all who hear with his words and songs after the setting of the sun in our own inn. I think after this game, actually, someone else is referred to as the hero of Spielberg. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll and get to that when we get to that game. And you will get another All right. title. So, I think I'd like to do a little bit of shopping at this point, because we're getting near the end of the game, and that means that there's a bunch of merchants who might be willing to sell us useless stuff to decorate our room with. This is a, <laughs> a, a kind of an Easter egg that this remake added to allow you to offload some cash, I guess, basically. But it's sort of fun. So I'm going to just head around and see what people have, and if they've got anything interesting, I will buy it. Not food. What about if I say buy meat? There's a question mark. And that means we didn't actually make a graphic for this. A signed game box for 31 dinars. 31 dinars is a really awkward price. Let's... Try 21. No, oh, man, I should have brought it downward. May it bring you entertainment and enjoyment. Not so, I, I got a signed game box. I'll have to look at that yeah. once I've talked to this guy. Do you have anything for me? Oh, you do. Wow. Decorative pot, 37. Okay. Well, since 21 was apparently acceptable for... We're going to go all the way down to 17. 
I will admit living admit uh, living where it is only wears at such a price. It is still a bargain of thirty five dinar. <laughs> <laughs> I would need no living if I were to sell my wares at such a price. It is still a bargain at 33 dinars. Here is a sample of my finest work. Decorative pot. I'm going to just look at all of these things as I get to them. Let's see. Can I buy a plant? Yes, I can buy a plant now. That is not always, n all of these things don't show up to begin with, but let's try 23. I will have it delivered to your inn of ending. Jolly good. Come on. Oh, hero! Would you but honor this humble kata by spending a trifle of your great riches for one of the baskets I've spent many months of making just for you? Wow. How have I spent many months making it? We haven't been here for a This is how... This is a weaving. Thank you, Offendi. May you be happy with my work. Oh, yeah. gosh. It's a picture. It really is just for me. <laughs> How about you, Brass Merchant? Oh, Brass Merchant has something for me too. I'm just really plowing through here. I will have it delivered to the inn for you, Avendi. Do I want to go to uh, Plaza of the Fighters? Why not? Now, this guy. Oops. I straightened out my jacket and retied my boots. <laughs> this guy sells boots that are helpful if you're fighting against ghouls. Reasonably cheap, too. Uh, but the only catch is you have to have fought a ghoul beforehand. So, we did that off camera. And we'll get a chance to deal with that later because. I'll get to show you the fun, fun experience. Thank you very much, Fendi. I hope to have Mariri within two days. It's You only have to enter combat with the ghoul, technically, so... You need to see their attack. And nothing here. I mean, I've already got a bag. What am I ever going to do with a bag? Who needs a bag? Claws of the palace. My carpets nearly went flying by the force of the wind, but for your bravery, there would be little left here that was not blown away. Our people are in your debt. You have the gratitude of the kata. Does this mean I can buy a carpet? Finest of carpets in all the land I have for your perusal, hero of the north. I don't know if you hear of the north after this either. If you desire a rug from my cart, I could make a special deal on one of my smaller ones. Since you are a hero, it should be yours for mere 45 dinars. Hmm. 45. Let's see, can I bargain that down? To say, 35. Carrying around a rug would be cumbersome. I shall have it delivered to the inn for you. Alrighty. So, my room in the inn is going to look real nice. Because now... You can see the jug, a shiny brass jug sits atop the display in your room. A healthy looking plant adorns one corner of your room. A small but elegant emerald colored rug adorns the floor. And of course we already had the sand dome. So next, we're going to take a look at some of this stuff. An original trial by fire game box, and it's signed by Slurry and Scory. I wonder where I can put that. You give the box a place near the storage chest. You wonder if it will ever become a collector's item. 
Still and of course, where you clicked, but <laughs> of course, slurry and scory sound kind of like Lori and Corey. So, the plot you obtained from Tusher is colorful and very smooth, and it weighs some amount. Well, I'll just click in the approximately the same place and see where it puts this. You put the crafted pot in one corner of the room. It's nice that it doesn't make you figure out where it goes. Oh, that would be so annoying. And I've got two different pictures. One of them is me. Oh, I should look at it first, shouldn't I? The item Saab I sold you is a disc that's made of many small strings of reed carefully woven together. Same place. You carefully hang the weaving on the wall. This one, apparently, it's different depending on when you buy it. I know that all of them, actually, there are multiple options for what you can get. This painting shows the city of Shapiro under a starry sky. Yeah. Each one, ha each one has different... Uh, is different depending on certain conditions, like how many battles you fought or something. This one, apparently, is down to what day it is. So, my room looks much nicer now. I bet. Shimin and Shima get to keep all the stuff you put in there afterwards. And I'm gonna, while I'm next here, I'm gonna stick a few things in the chest. Nah, I can't do that. Can you stick your thieves license? That seems unwise. There, there's no thieves guild here! Yeah, but it seems like putting it in here then Shimin and Shima comes in to clean. You carefully hide your thief license inside. That's one piece of incriminating evidence off your body. Now all you have to do is make sure you aren't caught red-handed. I don't need the dirt pot anymore since I've done with that elemental. You can drop it. You store the pot of dirt. Yes, but I don't want it just to litter. It's dirt! <laughs> Precisely. It will make a mess all over Shamin and Shima's nice floor. Because you can go to the desert and drop it. Well, it's in my chest now, so. So that was fun. And now. I have relatively little to do for the rest of the day since I already did my exploration and Dad, you need to do the desert. Well, everything I can do at this point because I have to defeat the earth elemental still. Gosh, I wonder oh sorry, I mean there Wait. might be an earth elemental that I'll have to defeat oh. at some point. Well you soon. have to defeat the earth and water elemental because you've already well, fire and air. That's I a good point. there were four elements. So there are logically four yeah. elementals. This yeah. is, by the way, a lie. There are not four. Don't spoil them for that. There. Mm -hmm. Like our names. There. Mm -hmm. I like how we're assuming. Word will soon speak if you will be seated. If it would please the hero so, then there is that which he should know. A simple prize from Sultan Wise for deeds of air the land does owe. From the Sultan Harun al Rashid, may he reign forever, we present thee with a purse for thy services most brave and daring against the elemental of air. You received the reward of fifty dinars. Oh, 